What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda and today I have another kid's side part Senegalese twist out for you guys. And oh my god, I was just so in love with her natural hair. Her ringlets are beautiful. Um, and so yeah, I'm just super excited to share this style with you guys. I had actually did this on a child before a long time ago and I posted it on my Instagram and everybody absolutely loved it. So I've done this style like maybe four to five times on different kids and so yeah I'm just really excited to share it with you guys as always all the products that I use will be listed in the description section for you guys and yeah let's just jump right into the video so I started off by um, parting a part down the middle that's gonna separate um, my braids on the side from the back twist and then I also did a part like kind of like a curved part on whatever side your client wants and here I'm gonna be doing some feed and braids I'm doing six small feed and braids and it's important that when you do this you do an even number like an even amount of them and we will find out why towards the end but I am adding synthetic hair into these braids typically I wouldn't um, the first couple times I did it I just did it with my clients natural hair but I did want it to last a little bit longer just because I know that the twist will last a little bit longer so I want to make sure that they can get as much time out of these braids as possible
So for the braids, I'm just following up into this pattern all the way until I reach my client's ear. I did a total of six braids, um, but I didn't do the last two on camera. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go around to the back and I'm gonna start doing my Senegalese twist. Now all the ha hair that's left over, excuse me, is gonna be in these twists. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start parting off like I would do if I were just doing regular box braids. Um, so yeah, for my Senegalese twist, um, I am using the pre-stretch expressions braiding hair and I think I cut a little bit off because for a child it's kind of long but I'm gonna um, go ahead and do these all in the back and originally I had looked for um, crochet twist because obviously it will be a lot quicker um, but I couldn't find any in the correct size that I wanted I can only find the small size in the beauty supply so I just actually decided to do them myself and I love twisting with this pre stretch expressions hair because my twist just looks super neat when I was re-watching this video I was like wow okay like these actually look really really good so basically I'm um, twisting my clients hair into these to seal my twist at the bottom I do like to burn them a little bit with um, a lighter so I'm not burning it so much that like the bottom piece falls off I'm just kind of like sealing it a little bit so yeah I'm gonna do this on all of the hair that is remaining So the reason why I like to have an even amount of braids is because I'm going to be taking the ends of two braids at a time and twisting them into the Senegalese twist and that's kind of how I'm going to transition that braid into a twist and I do tell my client to hold it because it will cause a little bit of tension at the root just because you have those braids and um, it's pulling so I've told her like make sure you hold it sweetie um, just so that it doesn't pull and then that'll prevent that. Once you actually do the twist um, it should be fine there shouldn't be any like extra tension or anything.
Then I just went ahead and laid down her edges a little bit. I didn't leave out too much baby hair just because I feel like for kids, it gets like crazy. So yeah, I um, used some perm rods to go ahead and roll the ends of her hair and I'm gonna be just dipping those in hot water. That's gonna really um, create that curl and yeah, just set the hair in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, if you can buy the pre-stretch twists, like I said, and crochet them in the back, sometimes you can find ones with curls already at the ends, but it is really cute when you can also kind of do it yourself. So you guys will see me um, dip all of these twists and then go ahead and take those rods out and you'll see some nice beautiful curls. I've been doing this in a lot of my past videos, just um, curling the ends of like the braids or the twists, and I just absolutely love it. It's very old school, but I think it's so cute and it lasts longer than the crochet hair would last. So now I'm just going through and kind of cutting off any straight pieces. You want to kind of pull down your curls a little bit and you'll see like just little scraggly pieces. But yes, this is pretty much my finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I didn't realize that at the front of her head there was like a little glob of, of um, product. So so if you guys are like, what is that shiny stuff right at the center of her, of her forehead? That's what it is. So yes, she's literally so adorable. I love this hairstyle. Like I said, it's so highly requested from me. Um, so I'm just super excited to share it with you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs> what you mean? 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 What you mean?